Did I do it? Have I won the game? Have I? Oh. There are a few men I know more victorious than Day 9. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this absolute perfection. Are you walking around without any legs? Well, let me tell you. It takes a lot of flexing. You know, the weird thing is, Realm Cloaked Giant might actually be reasonable against Red with Lucky Clover, thanks to the existence of Anax. Because with Anax... The reason it's so strong is it just leaves behind residual satyrs. But then if you just, like, Realm Cloaked Giant, Realm Cloaked Giant, and double clear it, you know, hey... Kidding me? Kidding me with this right now? All right, let's play one of these. Maybe I should have waited a turn. No, no, no. I needed to wait a turn. What is what is the absolute matter with me? What is the in the? What am I doing? Because there's going to be a questing beast. I just the shame in Spain stays mainly in the plane. Let me tell you. Green. Red. White. Got it. I gotta cut the escape from the wilds, man. I'm sorry, fucking what? Are you kidding me with this right now? Oh, well, this isn't easy. Easy bank off the top, man. No problem. <gasps> I didn't get enough green. It used the wrong color. It used the the actual wrong colors. I thought that I was going to have a wall of one once. Damn it. We finally make an Outlaw's Merriment? Look, it work. It might, might be the case. Might be the case. Chandra's Pyro motherfucking Helix? Are we serious with this shit right now? Chandra's Pyro Helix is what- Get me out! Run! Adjustments are needed. Ugh. Makes me sick to my stomach, you know what I mean? Makes me sick to my stomach. We had this. We had that game. I just got auto-tapped out. I just don't know why I wouldn't leave my green in there. I'm going triple realm cloaked, man. I know it's a bold play, but I'm a bold man. I was just so shocked when I went to just drag out a bunch of little ones and nothing happened. Only life gain in the form of merriment. You know it, Deadwing. You know it. You know it. You know it. Really, the question is: Is Tectonic Giant good enough? I think the answer is like maybe, yeah. Oh shit! Looks good enough to me, huh? I mean, this this is going to be a little bit tricky to live through. This is going to be a little bit tricky to live through. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Like, if I could just get, like... Not that. There's a number of cards that if I can just get, like, any of those cards... I think we're actually okay. I think we're actually okay. something deeply ironic about drawing too many lucky clovers with this deck. It's alright, we're, we're gonna, we, it's some adjustments to be made, some adjustments to be made. Some adjustments to be made, I know it. 
I know, I know. You don't have to be. You don't even have to explain it to me. Tectonic giants really interest me. If I can be honest with you, I think that like actually the the edge wall innkeepers are super not necessary for us. I think the edge wall innkeepers are actually not necessary for this deck. I get a lot of card draw through Tectonic Giant and uh, Escape to the Wilds. Look at how just deeply stupid the Edgewall Innkeeper looks there, huh? I'm gonna play him out. Sit there with his with his multiple chins. Stupid card. You don't like it. Doesn't help the deck. Doesn't help your friend Sean either. Mana base looks good. Pretty pleased with and proud of our manor mana base. Oh my god, it would it would just ship him the bone crusher. Unbelievable. Time to withstand some love struck beats. Oh my god, this is a rogue. So it reprocs the robber of the. Oh my god. I don't even believe it's Steven. Alright. Let's get this health gain a going, going. You know what I mean? Let's get it up and running. Let's get this puppy steaming. Let's get your pal Day9 beaming. Unreal believable. You know what's gonna happen next turn? 2 1 Haster with lifelink. Can't even cast it. Well, at least he A is a little screwed too. If I, if I can just get a Realm Cloak Giant here, that'd be great. Oh, c'est parfait! Oh, c'est parfait, monsieur! Shoot this one. You'd love to see it. <gasps> Oh, look at you showing up nice and late to the party. Look, look at my sweet tectonic giant tech, man. I'm cutting the edge wall innkeepers from this list, man. Deck would be better without him. Turn him into definite clarions. There it is. Don't need a swing with that one, two. Look at, we, we're, we're starting to build an endless wall of merriment. Doesn't, this, doesn't it feel good for you? Doesn't it feel good for you? Feels good for me. Why is this player not playing these cards? How embarrassing. This would be so much better as a Deafening Clarion. So much better as a Deafening Clarion. It would be so much better as a Deafening Clarion. Because we, we don't even... We really just need some early defense. And if you get Deafening Clarion late, you can just use it to, like, lifelink a ton. Mm. Whew. Feels good to have. I didn't know that it's there. All right, well, gee. What could this be? So we know that if we do this... Got him. So my opponent can either kill this, and then some allocation of these, but we will at least get some damage back in. Include the edge wall. We, we want to cut the edge wall, anyways. Laser beams. Edge wall, I think, is just it just doesn't belong in this deck. 
It doesn't belong in this deck. Oh my god, it's actually perfect. The deck's working as intent. Oh, baby! Green. Green. And not a single attacker was seen that day. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're playing it, baby. <sighs> well, I see six damage incoming. I see six points of health here. This beanstalk giant is actually like legit. What are these guys showing up late for? Oh my god, you, you couldn't have come any later, huh? See, now this is gonna get equipped and get unblockable. Damn it. We're gonna cut the innkeeper for clarions, man. I already got the plan. I'm the man with the plan right here, man. Sneak on in. Bonk me for four? You hate to see it. I'm like a bone crusher away from having an absolute bone crusher right now. Another one of those life lifelinkers, man? Hate to see this one. You hate to see it. Let's leave the big boys behind. I have to swing, uh, swing with both of them, because one will get blocked first strike from the Fervent Champion. The other one will actually get us some lifelink. Thanks, friend. We have a pair of 11-11s holding down the fort. We're going to go to one, and I fully expect to die pathetically to a shock. We found the error of our ways. Found the error of our ways. Stop bouncing your bloody knee. Pro gaming tip. Odie, you have no power here. <laughs> oh, this is some good knee shaking goodness, man. Good knee shaking goodness. Clarion. Definitely in Clarion. All right. Uh, so I think a trio of Dems is good. Let's go ahead and bloop. send that escape up, on, up, on, up. Ooh, it's starting to really come together. So so here's a question. What do we want our mana distribution to be? I think we one of those and one of those, and that's good. We really need to make sure that we... One, two, five, nine, five, nine, twelve, Three and one. Ugh, that's twelve of those. Three and three and three is six and one is seven and three is. What? Do I only have ten white sources? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, Frank. Frank Karsten mana calculator. I have, I have, like, let me tell you, Channel Fireball has gotten billions of views of the same fucking one. Two and a C is 11. Oh, uh, so I need 11. I need 11 from heaven is what we need, huh? We need 11? Did I? Oh, I didn't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. 14. Oh, never mind. I, I miscounted. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're actually the fucking best player who's ever lived. Never mind, we're fine. I just I just missed the Temple Gardens. Miss Temple Gardens, Miss Temple Gardens, Miss Temple Gardens.
Hype tight. We did it. We figured it out. We figured it out. Boom. Ooh, that's a perfect one to see. So already we're seeing the possibilities emerge before us. Kyle Pro Bowler is someone who is not looking for anything but the easy way out in life. Kyle Pro Bowler is a human who just wants to do some sort of mono black vampire aggro deck that was popular six months ago. Are you kidding me? I would be delighted to. Get thee gone to a nunnery. Timurite's gonna start screaming at us like an absolute lunatic. That's all right. It's all good. We have all the sources of mana, mana we need. I would love a single green mana, please. There it is. Well, that's not gonna make our opponent suspicious at all. Let me tell you, that's not gonna. That's not gonna look like we have something up our sleeve, even in the slightest. I'm thinking that it's time for some shocking decisions, huh? Is that it? Nah, I think I'm gonna de I, I, I'm gonna declare a clarion over here. One, two. Boosh! Look at how much better this is than a pathetic edge wall innkeeper. Oh, I can't believe that entered into my mind. We have so many more useful, juiceful plays. Have I told you guys, look, end of stream clown mode, you see I transform into a different person. All that fucking careful deliberation, debilitating. It's not who I am. Uh, we have a lot of white, a lot of green. I still actually want more green. It's horrible, man. It's sad out here. How good do you feel about being right about Gary? Dude, it feels incredible. I think about it every single time I'm running a deck that's garbage. Dude, let me tell you, I uh I transform, man. Like, I you you saw me when I was playing that Sultai list from Mangucci. Like, I was really like thinking, I was like not talking, and I was going through my turn sequence. Mm -hmm, what about this? Mm -hmm, okay, alright, nice. I see, okay. And now, I mean, it's just degenerate city. I'm just sitting here, like I'm bobbing my leg up and do down, ODs in chat, calling me on it. Sean, stop shaking your damn leg. And I'm like, fuck yourself, OD. I'm just sitting here, just like shaking, I'm playing. Because we are pulling together a deck that gets huge, goes wide, and wins by pushing forward. It's so good. It's the forearm technique. Oh, yes. Gotta channel Mengu when you're playing one of his decks. I really was trying to channel as hard as I could. As hard and hardy and hardly as I... Oh my god, will he ever play one of these cards in exile? Absolutely not a chance in heck and hell. <gasps> yas. Yas. Oh my god, say yas to the draws. Dude, I am absolutely going to Realm Cloak Giant this shit, and then I'm going to shoot stuff down. Swing it out. Yeah, are you kidding me? No blocks. Don't even need it. Don't even care. Don't have a reason to despair. Alright. I would love to Realm Cloak Giant twice in a turn, please. <laughs> now. You got it. It resolves. It resolves. Now, what happens is the, the, the first cast of Realm Cloaked Giant happens. On the stack, the Nightmare Shepherd now has the option to exile that 1-1 one, one and keep it on the battlefield. But that's not a good idea because we have a Lucky Clover, which means that hand is coming back! Oh my god, actually exile! That's so fucking funny! We're gonna use the Beanstalk Giant to duplicate on the Lucky Clover to go ahead and get out something juicy, like, I don't know, one of these mountains. And, you know, I just still feel like I need more green. Uh, it feels good, at which point I'm going to just shoot this guy in the face twice. Boom, there it is. Here comes number two. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. And already, I'm taking a trip to get there, city. Mm. It feels good to be good at a game that's difficult to be good at using cards that are awful. Alright, I'm not going to be needing this one for a little bit. 
let's play first. How much is one of these? It's like everything. Let's run that down. Yeah. And uh, remember what I just got done saying? Yeah, we're going to just shoot this guy immediately. Boom. Boom. If I get a clarion off the top, you know I'm lifelinking that beanstalk giant in. He's going to use his big clumsy fingers and he's going to scoop the health up and just push it in my face with his knuckles. Just absolute two, two grips full of HP coming straight from the beanstalk giant. It dies. It dies. I don't really, I don't really have any regret or remorse. Ooh. Surprise. Surprise, Kyle. You don't know what you just walked into, huh? Look at how awesome this is. Look at how awesome this is. <laughs> oh, yeah. How can I hold all this health, man? You gotta have knuckles that are robust. There's a lot. There's some girthy health being gripped in them knuckles. Alright, well, let's, let's, let's go ahead and get a 1-2. You gonna sack the goat now? Oh, a 2-1. Having fun. Let's escape to the wilds, huh? I'm thinking lifelike. Alright, let's play this. You love to see it. I think I've I think I might have figured out how to play Magic the Gathering. This is a fun deck. All of all of the time that, uh, that your cards are in the game, they are in exile. Healing back up to 12, feeling good. Kyle Pro Bowler. Get out of my video game. Mmm, feels good to earn pips with good strategies. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna get some butter chicken for dinner tonight. Because let me tell you, I've run two days in a row and there's no reason to have a calorie deficit. Alright, place that order. Boom, it's coming into town. This is what peak MTG looks like. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Some of that sweet butter chicken. Red Destruction. Something's wrong with the matchmaking because we're against a number 38 person that's ever lived. But I think we are... We're still content. Go first. Play your Swamp as Bompus. This is, this is about to be one dead mythic player. Yeah, play your Butter Guns, man. Don't even care. Not even worried. Scurry back. Dude, I'm telling you, the game knows. The game knows that I've put together something that's next level. I hate to see it. But get this. Outlaw's Merriment. Mm. It's got some legs. Just once in my life, I want to qualify for a Magic the Gathering tournament and play something that is actually so appallingly, shockingly bad. <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, that, that's appallingly bad, but when it wins, it does something that, like, kind of hurts a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, all right. All right, so we are absolutely Rampus Bampusing. Boom, there it is. Pow, Lucky Clover. Show me something extra, huh? Let's get a red Lando. Bop, there it is. Let's get another green Lando. Boom, out it comes. So the first one needs to target the Woe Strider, yes? The copy targets the Butter Gums. There it is. <laughs> Apo Koala. This is how do you do? I do quite good, Apo Koala, my 102 month consecutive subscription friend. <laughs> Cauldron Familiar. It doesn't concern us, it's not our problem. You love to see it. You love to see it. Clipped through and cut down. We're gonna take some ping pongs of damage, but we're pretty much fine. Is that day nine yellow? It's just a yellow shirt. I got it at Express because I shop in the central fashion districts of our times. Mm. 
And then I sacrifice this, then I bring that back, and then I bring this back, and I shoot with that, and then this happens, and then, ah. Uh... <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think, I think that, like, if I can get a three drop, or smaller. I really want Outlaw's Merriman. It's a very good card. It will, it'll help provide us something that I think is key in life, which is infinite value. Just checking. Just making sure. That's right. I'm telling you, Red Destruction is not going to be happy. You'll love to see this. Red Destruction decided to sit down at the driver's seat of life. Put his hands on that wheel. He just didn't expect it to be on a road littered with outlaws. Now we're getting ping pong for a wee bit of damage a turn. If another Mayhem Devil comes down, I will burst into tears. But barring a Mayhem Devil landing, I really think that this is going to be a tear-free game. <laughs> I think that we're absolutely... Um, gonna maybe leave some... Oh, look, a little lifelink in front. That's, that's You love to see it. What are you doing? What are you doing, Red? He looks left. He looks right. He plays some savory cards tonight. <laughs> Hello. Heart fire? Oh no. All right. Well, y you must do your best attempt at life linking. You know. I mean, if this if this is actually a second heart fire in hand. Oof, man, let me tell you. I will burst into tears. Okay, that's okay. My first born has been killed. I think Red Destruction might be feeling the pressure. Uh-oh, I think Red Destruction is starting to realize that these Outlaws Merriments are a couple lifelinkers away from giving me a whole new take on life. Will this be sacrificed? Two, three, one hasters, huh? You hate to see it. thousand people hold their breath the intensity builds it looks like somebody makey a mistakey so this is gonna have to get escaped huh and I'm telling you, we just need some life linkers, please. I want to beat this powerful human using my powerful deck builds. You'll love to see it. Stride like whoa. <laughs> None of them are life linkers.
That's it, we lose. I can't believe it. We, we literally just didn't get a single life linker. Exile the top two cards of your library. Oh my god. How is this even possible? How do I lose? I'm devastated. I do all the right decisions. I do all the right decisions and the game punishes me. Because I'm putting in a card that flips a coin. <laughs> How can she slap? I haven't heard that one in a long time. How can she slap me? Ugh. I go first, huh? Is this hand good enough? Looks good enough to me. I draw any land, I start getting red going. Boom, here he comes. Yeah, I know what you are, hi -ye. Don't think I've forgotten who you are. Bring it on, attack me. Coward. Not a problem. Here comes an axe. I bet you it's an axe. Look at this one one that has just held down the absolute shit out of the fort. Fervent champion. Oh, mm, oh yes, please. Oh, a bing and a bong. And what do you steal? My land. All right, that's fine. I run 27 of these bad boys. Imagine if this were an innkeeper. How pathetic would this turn have become? But now, this is a turn for champions. There are so many ping-pongy goodnesses we can do. I mean, if we get any Lando Calrissian, we can love Struck Beast and Bone Crush. Mm. Now I'm shivering to think. What even is happening over in Camp High -E? Huh? Your champion says Righteous Brew. Hey, thanks, Righteous Brew. It's good to have Righteous You here. Alright, I gotta sit up properly straight. I'm gonna attack now. Down to nine, but feeling fine. I go. Kenrith be a good addition to this deck. Uh, there, there's some arguments to be made for Kenrith because he like heals for so damn much. But I, I don't really see what I would cut. I mean, maybe if I just don't run the Escape to the Wilds, but I, I really like the Escape to the Wilds like a lot, and I I would be unwilling to give them up because I'm a stubborn guy. Marginally risky. Well, I still figure that's that's an okay outcome. It's a great attack.
good. You know, my, my head turned a little bit at that uh, at first, but I see what was see what was going on. I e. Some infuriating decisions. Is Clover any good in this deck? It feels like it's okay, Tooth Maker. We had extra giants, bone crushes, and we can double sweep. That's a dead high AE. The W's are racking up today. I'm going to play roughly until my dinner arrives because this deck is tight. Mm, mm, mm. Katie says, well, can I, uh, I can report my plan of trying not to give advice because I'm not okay with people not taking my advice. Seems to result in internalizing it and flooding up frustration due to repetitive losses associated with me not micromanaging people who ask for advice. Are you, uh, is this a teen game where you're playing with them? Is this a team game where you're playing with them? Is that what's going on? Is this like is this like Dota and you you got some Dota buddies and they're garbage? Is that what's going on? Yeah, it's it's oh it's League of Legends, man. You gotta not play with these people. Or if you do play, you gotta play some hero you've never played before, so that's all 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 of where your focus is. League of Legends is also a particularly unforgiving game, as far as I can tell. Like, kill counts in League are so low? Oh my god. Dota is a game of violence. to a rum cloaker. So we're gonna take we're gonna go to maybe nine here. What is a cavalcade of calamity doing in this game? Oh my god, I am just so I am so screwed. Um I guess I'll do this. Zapped? Are you infuriated? What? Why on earth is Heartfire showing up so much against me today? What is this specific to counter Naya Giant's deck that I'm seeing with mine eyes right now? I mean, what even is? Fire up another game. We have a lucky clover. We have a ramper. It's fine. It's all good. We have double white. We're ready to go. Maybe I should just be running four deafening clarions. 
Huh? What do you think about that? One less Lucky Clover, one more Clarion. All right. Well, looks like we have an we have we have a serious hater over here. Oh, I hear a little boop boop. Here comes your order. Hmm. Why is it that the Bone Crusher is always the one that's nabbed, huh? Why is it that it's the Bone Crusher? I would like a red one and a green one. I don't even believe this. I don't believe this, I don't believe in this. I mean, it's actually kind of insane how quickly these red decks just like sprint into action. Oh yeah, you're coming with my butter chicken. Oh, butter chicken's gonna be so good. Oh, I'm gonna get that fucking sweet butter chicken. Oh, butter chicken. What is happening? Absolutely, these bastards. Would there even? Oop, no. Would, would there even be another play? Ooh, that's some good bone crushing right there. All right, this deck is turning things around. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Never mind. I've grown to become the most powerful of all nerds. Excellent. Still can't attack. I think I want another. I want another Clarion. I think I want another Clarion. I think I'm playing best of one. I need to admit that to myself. <laughs> need to admit to myself that I'm playing a best of one. It's easy to deny, huh? Easy to deny. Wow, they're getting here fast. That's good. I like dinner. I like dinner, but more than dinner, I like winning. Uh, one less of you, one more of you. All right, because we only have this. Poor Lucky Clovis is actually like, pretty fucking sick. <laughs> they say Naya's your favorite color. I like a lot of things going on in Naya. I had a lot of fun. I, you know, I just like magic. This is this is increasingly my my reaction, man. I just I think Magic the Gathering is a fun game. F U N N fun. Mm, hang on to it, baby. Hang on to this one. This is an opening hand you're gonna want to get close to. Oh my God! Please let me get a Bone Crusher. Don't do it. Don't be a questing beast. Well, all right. Just gonna play the Big Daddy Love Struck one. No, not, not an ember cleave on a questing beast. You've got to be absolutely. Oh, oh my God! Oh, thank Christ! Play it out. Deafening clarion, ladies and gentlemen. Deafening clarion. That's why we run that white color. You get those white sweepery deep reduce. I don't know if I can beat that card. Fucking Shadow Spear? Realm Cloaked is like it. It's, it's just a Realm Cloaked, isn't it? It's like only a Realm Cloaked giant now, huh? I'm about to lose to a Shadow Spear questing beast. This is ridiculous. What is happening? It resolves.
I'm good at the video game today. I just this j there's there were three in the hand. They're too aggressive. Guy, this guy is nothing but questing beasts, man. What do you want for Christmas? A questing beast? You asked for that last year. I know. I want another questing beast. The fuck are these people, right? Don't they need more different shit? This is America. Where is the consumerism overtaking his mind and body, huh? That, that food delivery is getting close, man. Four questing beasts in a trench coat? Yeah, tell me about it. Ugh. They could have four of a card in a deck. No. Oh, well, well, well. It's a player utilizing the red cards, huh? This deck is pretty close to just stabilizing that. I will now utilize my white mana. I can't believe how terribly this goes. I mean, this is this is terrible. Give me a planes. Is so fucking much damage. <laughs> There's no way to win this game. God, I don't even want to show them that I'm running Outlaws Merriment. Is there a good. I don't even care. I have a song I'd like to play to close out the show. We will be listening to it. And I will see you on Thursday for Magic. Tomorrow's Dota. Whew, can unwind from some of my own Naya Giants with some fucking Dota. Mm -hmm. Friday is going to be Here's My Magic 3. Next week... Blade Runner uh, uh, Magic. And then uh, three days of Ori. And the Will of the Wisps. Don't forget the gauntlets on Friday. The week after that, it's Factorio Week. Oh.